I have no promises that I will deliver on every episode. And that's because it's all up to you guys. In the game of anime reactions on YouTube, and just YouTube in a nutshell, the algorithm, replace the word algorithm with the audience. You're not making videos for the algorithm. You're making videos for what the algorithm thinks is your audience. And if you guys don't watch it, it shows me that you don't care about it. And the more videos we make on a topic that people don't care, the worse our videos perform it's just that simple i know that season two is coming up and i've talked about this in the trailer reaction it'd be nice to have season one as a whole playlist before we enter season two and i just hope that we will be able to cover you know tower god because usually what i do is like i vet right i'll always vet and i'll see like what videos you guys want to watch and then you'll basically you know say a bunch of things and i'll pull it just so that i can refine down to this one single enemy that people are actually interested in we're going in raw just no protection just raw dog in it. Hopefully, it's gonna be okay. Let's begin today's reaction. Webtoon anime, guys. Korean anime. Pussy money power. It's him again. The blue hair guy. Yeah, this is straight up in the trailer, yeah. I don't remember the toes in the trailer. Wait, 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 wait. Is that her? Oh, it's her. Oh, we, we saw her. Damn. Is she rich, rich? She rich, rich. Okay, this is her entire shoe closet? Holy fuck, okay, princess. I have a feeling that I'm gonna like this guy. I hope he's a good character. Something about him just seems so ordinary, but funny. He even has banana poster behind. It's just his like triple tracksuit here. Like all these other characters have crack design. And then you see this dude who seems like he should be a jobber, like an NPC type of character. But I hope that he's like a really goaded character. <laughs> this is the crocodile alligator thing? It's that blonde girl again. Is that Rahel? <laughs> Did we skip a scene? What the fuck just happened? Why did the fish just gobble him up? Yo. What do you mean? Welcome! The main character just died! That's the episode. Guys, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. <sighs> Thank you for the gift to sub You become a god. The and Yoru. He really is a Rahel simp, huh? He needed nothing but her. Story is about Rahel. Rachel. I don't know how I'm gonna fucking say her name. She wants to climb the tower to see the stars. Seems like a pretty noble goal, right? It's usually people are just driven by like wealth, fame, you know, power, stuff like that. But she just wants to see the stars. And then there's Bam or Pam or Yoru, the boy who needed nothing but her. So like, every, he doesn't need to climb the tower because she is here. But she climbs the tower. Does he just like follow? Is he just like a simp? What's going on here? The boy who needed nothing but her. Oh my God, dude, this. Uh, is that Rahel and Bam? Oh, unraveled her belt. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Okay, that makes more sense. In the trailer, they just show us these two just panting and moaning on top of each other. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? They were like running. It seems like she was running away from him, though. I don't know. He was like chasing after her like a stalker. What's going on, kid? He really needs her, huh? No mom would ever do this, though. Oh my god. Is she going to the tower right now? What's going on? What was that? I am so confused. Is she entering the tower right now? And the gate shows the tower with the image of the big sun at the top like we saw in the mural, huh? So this is the gate into the tower? What's our boy Bam gonna do, man? He gotta chase after her! I don't know, at some point we're like fighting some kind of fish monster, right? Oh! 
Sight, the gate opens! Uh, Yokozo, is this the tower? <laughs> Visitors. Okay. Or Jiraiya from Naruto? There he is! I don't trust him. Something about this design just screams like evil. I don't know. I don't like him. I, I love the voice actor. He's an even he's overseer, caretaker of this tower. I mean, immediately, they're not trying to hide it. He just looks sus. Where's Rahel? Is she here too? Do I call him Bam or Yoru, bro? I don't know. <laughs> Pitch, you want me to climb to the fucking top of the tower so I can figure out if Rachel entered the tower or not? What the fuck? We already beat the game by then! Okay. Yoru is a Japanese translation. Ah. Uh, it's not BAM! It's palm. B A H M. Palm. Palm means like night in Korea. That makes a lot more sense. I'm like, bam, Yoru. Korean translation. That makes a lot more sense. Some, solo leveling was just so easy because they would just straight up say Jin Woo in the subtitles and they would also say Jin Woo. But like, with this, do most other anime reactors call him Yoru or like, bam? I'm gonna fucking take it to the next level and call him bomb. Bam? Bam? I, no, what the fuck? You, you're butchering my fucking heritage, Bam? Excuse me if I fucking call Naruto Naruto. Excuse me if I call Sasuke Sasuke Sasuke. Call him Bum. That's the way the Koreans do it, Bum. It's the eel. Where's the ball? The ball. And just survive. That's it. Subarashi. Why? Because he wants to say this tower is dangerous, someone like you would die, right? But then he's like, oh shit, he just runs in like a fucking hero. Subarashi. What a fucking intro scene. This is the girl I was simping for in the trailer, man. <laughs> she just basically just <laughs> steps on us with her fucking feet. <laughs> a lot of people would pay for this kind of treatment. Has an imprint on his head. <laughs> Yuri. They're not gonna keep... Holy shit, she's tall! Is he just short? Or is she super tall? She looks like she's like six foot eight here! Okay. Pocket? Pocket? Invisible mode. Non-regular. Non-regular. In the Tower of God soundtracks that I listen to on YouTube, there's a title called The Irregular. Irregular is a better translation. Okay, so regulars and irregulars. We're not regulars because we don't have this pocket or this knowledge. <laughs> Did we open the gate by our own? Couldn't that guy open it and grab us? Princess of Jahad, Yuri. So she's an actual princess. Alright, so we got the world building already. There's this Jahad faction, and she's a princess, okay? Executed? Okay. Bro says that he is responsible and he's devoting himself to maintaining order in the tower, but is he not the one that fucking opened the gate for us and brought us in? In that intro sequence, this is 914 right now. In that intro sequence, when Rachel went away, bro, 
the gate like opened and he was talking. Now this might not be him, but he was talking in this moment, right? No, he's not actually. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Before it, the lead up, right? The answer can always be found at the top of the tower. It's him, right? Actually, I don't know. That could be just like a one time line that actually didn't happen, but it's for the audience only. And then this is like, the way an irregular opens the gate. It's as if the tower is like selecting you and it's like, you fucking come over here. I don't know the interpretation of this scene, but okay. There's these beings known as irregulars and they force the gate to open. The royal family's prosperity. It's hard? Navigator? Okay, there's a lot of things to unpack here. Holy shit, they just they throw in a lot of shit, but it basically sounds like irregulars are busted. Irregulars are so OP that without even knowledge of this tower, they should be able to handle the difficulty of a 20th floor challenge. Yuri's saying this shit's unfair. But Mr. Pokemon is like, nah, he's an irregular. He can do it. He's also a navigator. Hidden power. Yeah, of course, he's a main character, right? Oh, my bad. It's not the Pokemon dude. This, this short dude. He is the navigator. He does seem agile. Also, Yuri's height is actually not as tall as I thought because Bam is now standing up. He is actually kind of just short. Okay. You're like bullying me? Oh my god. We're in? Fuck Rachel! <laughs> Fuck Rahel! Fuck that bitch. I'm, I'm, I don't even know her. And I'm like, nah, nah, nah. She, she left us. She left us. Yuri. Yeah, she's a princess too. Let's fucking get into the Bahad, fucking Jihad family. Let's marry into the family. I don't think he knows what a Zahad is. Ooh, main character line. Lend him the black march. Okay, what is this? Is it a fucking weapon? Like what? Lend him the black But he's an irregular and he's the main character. He should be able to do it. But not only that, if others wields it, Yuri could die. Is this setting up flags? Yo, I hope this girl doesn't die. Oh, here we go. That sign with the three eyes, this is 1052 right now. Oh, what is this? This is the symbol of Zahad. Cause if she is, if she is a Zahad princess, and if this is the Black March, a legendary blade of Zahad, then does not make sense that the symbol right here represents like the royal family. Three eyes, Zahad, okay. <laughs> Bros, just moral of the story, just be hot. M moral, moral of the story is just, just, just be hot. If, if, if this is pretty privileged. The only reason he's getting bailed out right now is because she thinks that he's cute. <laughs> is that supposed to be Rachel? Maybe head on wanted her to do it the entire time and she, yeah, he suggested it. What kind of blade is this? It just looks like a stick. I think so, bro. The entire time, she's like, oh, you're so cute, I'll let you do it. Also, how the fuck did she know that we're here? Maybe it's like a big signal. Like, like we entered the tower, the gate opened, we entered, and then she just shows up out of fucking nowhere. What even? We're in like the tutorial map. I don't fucking know how this works.
What's the rules again? Survive. Protect the black ball or something? Or like break the black ball. Sorry. Break it. What the fuck is this? Wait. Is this underwater right now? It looks like we're underwater, but we're not. This thing is like swimming, but we're like, I don't know. How does this work? Just standing there. <laughs> Let him do some main character shit. And he fell. Oh, that's the episode. And we already saw this part in the intro. No, we already saw this part in the intro. What happens then? Bro's dead. There goes Black March, man. Oh, oh What do you mean? That's the meta strat? Go in his stomach? Ah, uh, this is some courage of the weak shit in solo leveling. Overcoming the fear of death is the answer to this test. Hedon just wanted... And that's why when he just ran in, Hedon was like, surely someone like you would die. And he just ran in. He was like, oh, Subarashi. <laughs> I don't think he knows. Something greater than the fear of death. Is it the fear of losing Rachel? Like, his devotion of being a simp overrides the fear of death? Why is he so fucking obsessed with that blonde girl? Like, you have Yuri, man. Bust that ball! <laughs> We're not even strong enough to fuck it. Wait, I thought the Black March is supposed to be a legendary blade that can cut through anything. It's like a blade of Zahad. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> so he is plotting? What the fuck? And backstory time. <laughs> Who is this? I don't know, something about that kid falling down the mountain was funny. That's Rachel's voice. Oh, this is bomb! Oh, he got long hair. Oh, I, I thought this was like Rachel for a second in the, in the dark. Huh, okay. So Rachel like saves bum like this? Their first encounter? Okay, so he's literally like a fucking like like a baby bird that just fucking hatched out of the egg and sees the first thing he sees and he latches onto it. It's like an animal thinking, oh you must be my mother. I kinda understand the dependency now. That makes sense. Cause if this is like their first time meeting and he knows fucking nothing, it's basically seeing like your mom for the first time. Cat, you gonna leave him? Stars can only exist, obviously, in, s in, the, in the space, the sky. The tower, we're stuck in a tower. So everybody is like, stuck underground? Not underground, but the tower exists, but it sounds like we don't have access to the sky. Like, what the fuck, whatever this like, outside is. Based on our talking about it, right? The top of the tower stretches this thing called a sky. Yeah, they don't know what a sky is. You need to get to the top of the tower to reach the sky. Okay. <laughs> what, is she a star? A star is? Maybe he shouldn't have said break the entire time. Go in the mouth again? What do we do? It's a fucking sword. What do you speak to the sword? Hey! Do something! What are you doing? Do something! And then it's gonna be better? Like, what, what, what? Won't even listen to Evan? Like, what? Okay. 
It listened! The Black March! That makes a lot more sense. This is way more OP. Oh! Each sword? Wait! The Zahar sword? It, there's a woman in it! Oh, this is great. This is great. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rachel and Yuri. Like, I've already been cheating on Rachel with Yuri. Now I'm cheating on Yuri with her. Who the fuck is her, bro? Is she March? Is she Black March? She gotta be, right? Hmm. I'm chasing after a girl. Sorry. I don't care about the tower. <laughs> because he has no ambitions for power and stuff like that. Just keeps getting away with everything because he's cute. <laughs> Every time something happens, someone bails him out and says, Oh, you're so fucking cute. Oh, you know what? All right. <laughs> she stole your line, Yuri. Right? Oh, that's what she said to Evan when she said it won't even listen to me. So Yuri has never been able to use the Black March ever. But this kid shows up out of nowhere, who's not even a princess of Zahad, and is able to call forth the true power of Black March? Interesting, okay. Maybe. That's not fair. She's literally like, I ain't into that Yuri shit. I'm only two men. I'm sorry. Get the fuck out of here, thought. Be gone, woman. <laughs> Based, I guess. What in the? Huh? It, like, he passed. So we pa so we get to climb the tower with this OP weapon? Yo, this is great! Yuri, thank you so much! So we just yoinked that? And we're just like, nah, we fucking out of here. And then Yuri chases now. We're forbidden from entering the testing ground for climbing that. So we went to the next floor, but it's still test- I thought this was testing grounds to see if you can climb the tower. This is like... A test! To see if we can take a test to see if we can climb the tower. It's some bullshit, bro. Alright. Let's go to the testing ground. Head on. I'm so suspicious of head on. So suspicious. Okay, he's super strong. He's gotta be fucking cracked. I mean, not only does he like oversee the fucking tower, but he just went like this. The, the eel just. Are you talking to me? You breaking fourth wall right now? I can't tell. What was that? He like turned to us. He was like, "Yeah, you enjoying the show?" Mm. Breaking the fourth wall. What was that? What the fuck was that? Hit on. Ooh. Yo, fuck that girl. Can we just be with Black March? Mm. Yeah, it's very hard, all right. This is a sky, though. Is this like an artificial sky within the tower? Because the tower said, like, you got to climb to the fucking top. Maybe we're not even in the tower. Are we in the tower or not? If we're not in the tower, I mean, I don't, I'm confused. Test two, the regulars. How much of the episode do we have left? Still a little bit left. Hello. Is that also a packet? Like a kid is talking to me right now. 400 regulars. Plus one irregular. One. Regulars versus irregular. Oh, he's got to be like super, super special, right? Not only does he have like. The fucking black mark, which is like a Zahad princess blade. Like, if we show that blade, are people around there even gonna fucking notice and be like, hold the fuck up. You should not have that. Anyways, there's a lot of world building, a lot of just lore that seems to be just scattered across. Kill 200. Oh, new, new characters? Oh my, what is that gimp suit? Is this... 
Is this dude in a sleeping bag? What is, is this dude in a sleeping bag? <laughs> this is just as funny as Mr. Tracksuit. Yo, where's the fucking Adidas fucking purple uh, fucking um, uh, tracksuit at? That's a squirrel in a gimp suit. Pocket will tell us how many count there is. Survive till 200. Maybe we can just hide. <laughs> oh my god, the soundtrack! Not bald! Do something! Black Mart said no, but an arrow helps. Oh, that's four. Clut oh, that, the next one's for us, though. Next one is for us, though. Hey, hey, careful, careful. Run, 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 run. Oh, dude, I hope they do this thing right now where they show us the, the food chain thing. You know the cliche where it looks like there's like a big hunter, but then the hunter gets hunted, and then that hunter gets hunted, and then that hunter gets hunted. You know what I mean? Wait, 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 wait. So arrows exist. She gets fucking sniped. Guns exist here? Okay, it does. Someone kill this guy. Bop. Never mind, they are. Yo, that's gotta be Mr. Crocodile, right? That's gotta be the Crocodile dude, right? Cause like in the trail, he had the same thing. Like, who else hands would be like this? Look at how big his hand is. Okay, okay, there's a Mr. Croc. Also, how is there a gun here? How does that make sense? Arrows, I'm trying to, like modern technology, how advanced of a civilization are we in this tower? I don't know. Yeah, Thank you, Mr. Crocodile. Oh, it's a Blue Hair Kid. Nah. Did you just block that with your bag? <laughs> what is that bag? <laughs> it's like a shield. Similar voice actor. Oh. The fuck is this thing? Alligator! Crocodile! Oh! I thought he killed him! I thought he crushed it! He just picked him up! He says, You're in my way, yoink! Let me just put you here. Now, let me just go look at the cliff. <laughs> is he Chuny? What is this? I could totally believe that he's Chuny if he decided to look cool by looking like a hunter at the fucking edge of a cliff, bro. What is this? I... <laughs> he just said toss. <laughs> Help, Baum! Oh, it's that girl again. Red eyes! Red eyes, three red eyes. Zahad, Zahad, blade? Zahad, multiple Zahad princess. How many is there? How many is there, bro? And the blade is green. Our blade was black. Black March. Black March! January? February? No. Is it? Is it? Color month? Ha! How many princess? I need to know. Ha! She's not illegal. She's not legal. I, I do not, I do not accept her as my princess. No, no, get the fuck out of here with the lolly shit. But there's potentially other princesses, right? Oh, 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 oh. oh no, Pucci. No, that's a Zahad blade. <laughs> He just looks so confident, man. Look at him with the hand in the pocket. Three way! Oh shit! I feel like of this three way right now, one is not the same. I feel like three out of four characters here has really amazing designs and potential to be main characters or side supporting characters and then you have this dude in the boxer <laughs> gee i wonder what's gonna happen now. cliffhanger is happening next cliffhanger and cut fuck you and that is tower of god episode one holy shit i think episode one lives up 
to the hype. I have heard of Tower of God. Of course, who hasn't, right? I know the anime aired a long time ago. And this is like a huge webtoon, right? It's like... Uh, I haven't... I'm not like quite well versed in the meta of webtoons or the culture around it. But I do kind of keep tabs on it just to see like what's popular. And I think Tower of God is like one of the like the biggest webtoons. Like a very old one too, right? 600 plus chapters in the webtoon, huh? Holy shit. What is this? The fucking one piece of fucking webtoons? Anyways... The first episode, extremely compelling. Immediately, the, the, the allure of like climbing this tower to become like a god. You get whatever desires you get granted. But then Rachel's wish is to see the stars, which just seems like such a simple thing. But in this world where we seem to be underground, only if you get to the top of the tower can it extend to the skies. And Bomb is only trying to just chase after Rachel, which just seems so stupid to everyone because everyone is here to, you know, fight for fame, power, riches, right? But I bet Black March accepted Bomb because not only does he have a dick, but because, like, what do you think Black, how are we going to fuck this fucking sword? How is that going to work? Maybe Black March, we, she, she wants to, like, insert her hilt into Bums. Anyway, she probably accepted him because he's so different. He has different, you know, ambitions rather than just something, you know, lame, like, you know, for power. She calls him boring, but I like to think that she thinks that he's interesting because he's just so different. There's Evan, who's apparently a navigator. Yuri, who is a princess of Zahad. And there are these... Princess Blades, the Zahad Blade, and they all have this three red eye symbol, which I think is the insignia of the royal family Zahad, right? And if we go with the logic that Black March, color plus month, there is potentially 12 separate swords. Who knows? Maybe there's Black January, Black February, Black March. You know, you take one color, do all 12 months. You take another color, do all 12 months. That's a little bit too fucking much, right? I think it's safe to bet that maybe there's like minimum 12 blades and maybe 12 princesses. I don't really know. Are there any princes? That's a good question to ask, right? If it's a royal family, you need to have like a crown prince to like you know, become the next king, right? The world building is fantastic. The head-on guy in the intro scene, very suspicious, right? He seems to want to give an irregular Bama chance. What is an irregular? Some being that forcibly enters the gate. Everyone else a regular are just like accepted, invited, but apparently Bam just like forcibly opened the gate, which I can only imagine it being some kind of desperation out of his desire to stay with Rachel and then the gate somehow resonated with this desire and it opens. I don't fucking know man. His lore in the beginning of how he was just like in a bunch of rubbles like what the fuck? He bro was literally just stuck here? Like bro was literally just stuck here just building a fucking rock mountain to climb out of here? What is happening here? But conveniently no one fucking remembers. Bomb just sees Rachel as the first person that he sees when she, you know, she rescues him. And he has this, like, dependency. She's, like, some kind of, like, motherly figure. I'm not sure if it's, like, romantic love, but there is definitely some kind of attachment. I'm personally not too interested in Rachel because, you know, there's girls like Black March and Yuri Zahad and potentially other princesses exist. So I'm all about get into, marry into the Zahad family. The princesses are so sick. And finally, we have this, like, battle royale theme. I love entrance exams, bro. Bro, please tell me this entire season is an entrance exam arc. If it is, oh my fucking god. One of my favorite things in anime is like tournament arcs. You get into a new place and everyone is around you as like really OP people. There's so many new characters to kind of look out for, right? And then it's like rivalry, competition, tournament style. Dude, that's just fucking peak. Entrance exam, I think, captures an element like that that I really enjoy in anime. So already, like, this anime, fantastic. The only problem is, are you guys going to be interested? Because, uh, again, that's the only thing that matters, right? If you guys are interested, I can pump out the Tower of God content. No problem. But if you're not, it's going to be a little tough to see what's going to happen. But that's it for me, if you're still here. If you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.